Support for this podcast comes from Deloitte. Welcome to the Age of With. Predict what's possible in the Age of With, then translate insight into trustworthy performance. Deloitte brings together end-to-end AI offerings with domain and industry insight to drive stronger outcomes through human and machine collaboration. This is MIT Technology Review. Hmm. Let's go. In Machines We Trust. I'm listening. A podcast about the automation of everything. You have reached your destination. Hi there, I'm Jennifer Strong, Senior Editor for Live Journalism, Podcasts, and host of the series In Machines We Trust. And I'm Karen Howe, Tech Review's Senior Reporter covering Artificial Intelligence. We're at the biggest conference of the year for our newsroom, diving into trends and emerging technology. It's called MTech. But don't worry, we are not going to leave you empty-handed. No, not at all. Thank you so much for being here. And as a way to show our appreciation, we made you a little gift. So a while back, I drew something to help make sense of a really basic question. So basic and yet so important, we return to it constantly in our work to try to make sure we're all on the same page. Karen's drawing helps us tease out whether something actually involves artificial intelligence. And that's because it's kind of confusing, even to experts. Companies claiming to use AI also fail this test more often than you think. Problem is, you can't see me holding it up right now. And so instead, we've gamified it into what I think of as an audio postcard. Yes, it's a wonderful audio postcard. Have fun. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to This Is AI. Players will ask questions that get to the bottom of what is or isn't AI. And I've brought along an assistant to help out with the answers. Hi there. Hi, Alexa. Just so we're all on the same page, artificial intelligence in its broader sense refers to machines that can learn, reason, and act for themselves. They can make their own decisions when faced with new situations, much like humans and animals do. Now this bell means you've correctly identified AI. Well done. And this buzzer? Not so much. Okay, so... Let's test your knowledge. Ready, set, player one, go! Can it see? Yes. Can it identify what it sees? No. Okay, so that's just a camera. Okay, but what if it can identify what it sees? Yes, that's computer vision and image processing. Player two. Can it hear? Yes. Does it respond in a useful, sensible way to what it hears? Yes. Yes! So that's NLP, natural language processing. The goal of that kind of AI is to help computers make sense of human languages in a way that's useful. But what if it doesn't respond in a useful, sensible way to what it hears? Could that also be AI? If it's transcribing what you say. Yes, that's also AI. It's speech recognition, which is similar, but working from the spoken word instead of text. Great. New round of questions. Player one. Can it read? Yes. Is it reading what you type? No. Is it reading passages of text? Yes. Is it analyzing the text for patterns? Yes. Yes, once again, that's NLP, natural language processing. Well done. I'll take the same question. Can it read? Yes. Is it reading what you type? Yes. Does it respond in a useful, sensible way? Yes. That's also NLP, natural language processing. New question, please. Player one. Can it reason? Yes. Is it looking for patterns in massive amounts of data? Yes. Is it using these patterns to make decisions? Well, if not, that sounds like math. But if it is using patterns to make decisions? Yes. Then that's machine learning, which is when a machine learns through experience. Okay, final round. Hmm, can it move? Yes. By itself, without help? Yes. 
Does it move based on what it sees and hears? Yes. Are you sure it's not just moving along a pre-programmed path? Hmm, I'm not sure. <laughs> Very funny, but if so, that's just a bot. Okay, let me try that again. Is it moving along a pre-programmed path? No. Okay, so that's a smart robot, meaning it's using AI to make some of its own decisions. Great. You've completed the game. Thanks for playing. We're going to take a short break, but first, I want to suggest another show I think you'll like. Brave New Planet weighs the pros and cons of a wide range of powerful innovations in science and tech. Dr. Eric Lander, who directs the Broad Institute of MIT and Harvard, explores hard questions like, should we alter the Earth's atmosphere to prevent climate change? And can truth and democracy survive the impact of deepfakes? Brave New Planet is from Pushkin Industries. You can find it wherever you get your podcasts. We'll be back right after this. Support for this podcast comes from Deloitte. At Deloitte, we believe the age of width is upon us. What's happening around us? Shared data, digital assistance, cloud platforms, connected devices. It's not about people versus AI. It's about the potential for people to collaborate with AI to discover and solve complex problems. But for organizations to enable innovation and break boundaries, they must harness this power responsibly. Deloitte's trustworthy AI framework is a common language for leaders and organizations to articulate the responsible use of AI across internal and external stakeholders. Prepare to turn possibility into performance. To take a closer look at the Deloitte trustworthy AI framework, visit deloitte.com slash us slash trust AI. Deloitte has no influence over the content of this podcast. Welcome back to this bonus episode of In Machines We Trust. We're at our MTech conference this week, so instead of coming to you with a regular episode, we made something fun that hopefully helps clear up some confusion around what is or isn't AI. And if you'd like to see what it looks like on paper, you can check out my drawing. It's called What is AI? And you can find it at technologyreview.com. In the meantime, Karen and I are going to put our heads together and pick out something to play for you from the conference, so keep an eye out for that. We're also working on another short series about the many ways facial recognition is being used in things like retail and sports, so we hope you'll stay tuned for that as well. Many thanks to the talented voices in this episode, including our producer, Emma Silicons, and our art team, Eric Mongin and Kyle Thomas Hemingway, which, by the way, if you like our cover art, you just heard the folks who made it. Karen Howe did the reporting. It was adapted by me, Jennifer Strong. Our editors are Michael Riley and Neil Firth. This is MIT Technology Review.